In this video, I just wanted to quickly go over the fact that you have a new draw mode that is now compatible with the pose tool. Previously, the 3D spline was not compatible with this particular tool, and now you can make intricate selections around the circumference or the span of an object. The close spline draw mode works pretty well whenever you're making selections on a single side of the object, but whenever you're trying to make a selection around an area that's occluded by the object itself then it becomes very problematic and it's always a good idea to make sure that you have plenty of resolution on your model before you make the selection so unlike some of the other tools in order to make the selection you might have an apply button here you don't see it at least not as of this recording but you can hit the enter key and hitting the enter key is 3D Code's universal way of committing a particular action and you can smooth it and so on and you also want to be wary of your edit pose falloff because you can make some very intricate falloff curves and it allows you to make some very interesting shapes from it but in this case I just chose a standard uh, S curve okay and in your little toggle you can save your spline here you can also save it and load it here from the e-panel so I'll just hit escape to drop that spline I'll hit smooth selection I see that there was a little bit of a spill right there so what I can do is just clean that up I'm going to hide the gizmo temporarily and I'm going to hold the control key while I use the polygonal lasso to clean up that little artifact. Same thing here. I could obviously tweak it some more, but for demonstration purposes, we'll just continue on. So, yeah, let's go ahead now and unhide the gizmo. And I can reset the axis to straighten that up. I hold the shift key to move the pivot point if I want. So I can scale it globally inward. And maybe scale it vertically. And maybe inwardly once again. You can move it all forward. I'll hit. I'll clear the selection where I can hit Control D. So that'll conclude this quick demonstration of using the 3D stroke draw mode in conjunction with the pose tool. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.